Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Good evening, Mr. Lopez. How are you? Good, good. I am fine. You're fine. Nice. I'm happy to hear that. Yes. All right. Great. Uh, I'm tired. Entire, happy and tired. <laughs> yes, yes, I believe all day working. Nice. Miss Janet Ayala, how are you? Very tired too. Very tired too. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. To, uh, to learn more about English. English. Nice. Ready to learn. Oh, cool. Yes. How are you, teacher? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Rodas, good evening. Hello, good evening. How is it going? Um, cool. yeah, so, so, good. So, so. Oh, so far, so good. Nice. So far, so good. Uh, tired. Um, tired. Yeah. What time do you usually finish work? Uh, I usually finish my work to 8 o'clock tonight. At 8 uh, p.m. 8 p.m. That's late. Yes, because I read and write uh, the emails mm. and collected the, new, the newsletter for the next day. That's incredible. Yes, you work long hours. Yes. Nice. Congratulations. That's the kind of citizens our country needs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Thank you. For sure. Okay. Mr. Romero. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Long time no see. <laughs> Hello. Long time not see you in class. No. Did you participate yesterday? Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I was just bugging you. Okay, how was okay. your day? How was um, your day? I, I am fine. And you? Fine. I'm fine too. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. Yes, it's a wonderful day. Uh, very okay. busy, very busy, but productive. Yes. A stressful day. <laughs> Everybody had a difficult day. <laughs> yeah. Everybody mm. in class had a difficult day. Well, thank God you're here. That's great. That's awesome. Okay, so that we can learn. We have a new opportunity to learn. And that's interesting. Okay. Well, let me share the PowerPoint, the presentation. Okay, this is our class number 14. Oof. We almost finished this module. One second, I just need to move this tools up here so that we can have this presentation better. Okay, so Okay, ask and answer questions, WH questions related to sports. We started talking about sports yesterday, right? Okay, so we were talking and describing the sports that we play, the sports that we like, the sports that we watch probably. So we're gonna ask and answer. Yesterday, I remember at the end of the class, at the very end of the class, you started. Okay, asking WH question, what sport do you play? I play soccer or I play basketball. When do you play basketball? I play on the weekends. What time do you start to practice? We start at six, we start at seven. Who do you play basketball with? So that is the kind of information questions we're gonna be asking and answering, all right? So, now let's talk about yesterday's class of course we're gonna do this in small groups because i need you to refresh the information and that is something you're gonna do in a small groups of course let's see we're gonna make three groups only for 
uh, more practice, okay? So try to remember, try to refresh what was the class yesterday about. You say, oh, I remember that we practiced this, we practiced a conversation, they was, the conversation was about this person who lies or doesn't like this sport and so on and so on. Or if you don't remember anything, you have to be honest and say, no, I don't remember anything from the class because uh, the internet maybe was not very good or I didn't participate very much. I just was very tired. I wasn't very concentrated. You just have to be honest. What do you remember about yesterday class, okay? Is that clear? Thump up, all right. Here we go. In the, ball, the, um, in the in the uh, fall. play basketball, uh, go swimming, ride ride baking maybe football okay. soccer yes uh, what, you what no 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 continue. In the conversation about uh, one here meant he said that like uh, three sports but don't practice just watch on television. Yes. Um. Okay. Um, he think he was very athletic, but no. Mm. 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 We no more, no more. Just practice about. Really? No, you. Uh, I was practice. I was practice ping pong, but the last two years I don't play ping pong because I don't have table for play. And the uh, and the office, we want a, a table for people. But in the last two years, uh, um, I don't going to uh, to office. My work uh, is home office. But the last week, the last week, uh, I return to my office. Then. But I, I have not at the table for for play. Before, uh, return the office because uh, uh, today home office for mm -hmm. many last yesterday. Teacher. Hi. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't know nothing about the class yesterday. Oh if, you have, if you have the time to explain him. It's fine, no problem. Okay, Mr. Lopez, what do you remember? What sports do you remember from yesterday's class? Teacher, by the way, good evening, teacher, so sorry. 
It's true. Good evening. Sorry, I, I apologize. No, no worries. It's okay. I understand. Mr. Lopez, are you here? I am. Ayer me pregunta. ¿Qué deporte se recuerda? What sports? Yes, do you remember? Sobre el vocabulario, no del vocabulario que vimos ayer. What do you remember? ¿Cuáles eran los los sports? Los sports. Play soccer. La play basketball. Play soundboard. Eh, le, ¿Qué deporte le gustaba? Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say that in English? ¿Cómo se dice eso en inglés? For example, what oh, sports do you like? Oh, why, oh, why, eh, favorite soccer. What's your favorite sport? Then you can say soccer. I love soccer. Yeah. I like soccer. I play soccer. Or I only watch soccer on TV. Eh, sí. My, my favorite is soccer. Your favorite soccer team or your favorite sport? Sport. Uh huh. Sería uh, uh, basketball. Basketball. Uh huh. Do you uh, play basketball? Uh, or you only watch basketball on TV? On TV. Sí. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama el juego? A game, game consola. Oh, so you play video games? Play, yes. Okay, so you play basketball on video games? Uh, video games. Mm, interesting. Y, yes, y um, también uh, swimming. Oh, you go swimming? Uh, y... Y bueno, eh, ¿cómo se dice eh, en inglés? Trotar. How do you say? How do you say? Trotar. Yeah. Jog. You go jogging, you go running. Eh, running. Oh, you go running. All right. That's nice. Give me one yeah. second. I have I have forgotten to, to change the virtual background. <laughs> I was with the beginner street. All right. Very good. So, yes, sir. I couldn't answer him because I don't speak Hispanic. Sorry, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Your translation, mister. <laughs> Just I know, I got you. So, Mr. Yeah. Aguirre, you mentioned that you have a, a son yesterday that lives in the States. It could be. <laughs> no, you said that you were gonna go ice, ice skating when you go to the States. Oh, it's probably, I'm not sure because it, suddenly my son uh, didn't want I fly, is it correct? Yeah, he doesn't want that you fly to the States. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want it for that. And, and where does he live, you say? In Utah State. In Utah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Have you ever visited the States? Let's see, two, two times. Two times, when? Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Two no. years ago, three years ago. No, no, let's see, 18 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. OMG. And my personal opinion, I don't like it. I don't like it, that is the States. You don't like the States? Yeah. No. So you you were in Utah or you were in any other any other state? No, let's see. I was in. I was I was in the LA. In LA. Yeah, because my LA is 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 this could be in San Salvador. <laughs> yeah, really. Yes, my uncle. I have an uncle who has lived in LA for about. 35 years, probably 35, 36 okay. years. Yes, all his life. And my older brother and my father were in New York a long time ago. My father was in New York for about two years only in 1995, I think. 
And my brother came from New York about 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was asking you. Well, that's an interesting experience. Cool. Teacher? Yes. Foreign uh, speaks English, uh, other may know like, uh, other may Sorry, Mr. Lopez. I just closed the room. Can you repeat, please? Yes. Can you repeat your question, please? Uh, Proving is speaking English. Mm -hmm. And other, other may know late. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, le, le digo, uh, Otros pueden inglés y no dejan que otros aprendan. Ah, no, it's okay. You have to try. You have to try. Okay, there's no problem. Okay. You just try your best. Okay, that's that's okay. This is just beginners. I understand. Okay, I've been a teacher for about what, twenty years, I guess, <laughs> all my life. Okay, so not a problem. It's just a matter of practicing. Okay, so. We just talked about yesterday class and what you remember, the sports, the questions, and that's great, okay? So let's move on. This is the information that we were practicing yesterday. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Sports, right, like in plural. But if you only play one sport, you can definitely say, I play soccer, I play basketball i play tennis i go swimming or simply i don't do sports or i hardly ever or i never have time to do sports i love sports but i i'm very lazy to play any sports or i used to play a sport when i was in school right or when I was a teenager, I was in a soccer team or I was in a basketball team. Whatever information you want to give, it's all right. So, but if you say, I play this sport or I play tennis, I play hockey, I play whatever. Then you say, who do you play that sport with? Who do you play soccer with? Who do you play basketball with? I play with my friends from work. I play with my neighbors. I play with my friend from church. Or I play with my family i don't know that's okay the people that you play with right where do you play in a in a of course you have to specify right i play in the park i play in uh, on the street out of the house on a soccer field okay or in a stadium or in a sports center that's all right so when do you practice we practice on sundays on saturdays on the weekends on the weekdays every night in the afternoon whatever and what time do you start so what time do you start to play what time do you start to practice right oh we start at seven we start at three we start whatever or any time that you start to practice all right okay i'm gonna give you some time to complete these two conversations right i watch sports on television every weekend and letter B says, really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. Do you usually? Yeah. Uh -huh. The answer is? When? Uh-huh. Because the answer is on Sunday afternoon. So when do you usually watch soccer? Okay. And the answer on Sundays afternoon and do you usually watch it at home no at my friend's house it has a really big television so what where? Is, where where do you usually watch it at home no at my friend's house he has a really big television yes okay then let's continue with the conversation number two letter a letter b do you go by writing or oh, about once a month? What how? Do we, how how often could be how often do you go by writing or maybe 
about once or twice a week how often how how often, how often yes the frequency right so how often do you go by writing or oh, about once a month i love to go by writing i go every sunday really where I did you go uh-huh i usually oh. at about one o'clock so what is the when? question when when do you go right usually at about one o'clock oh yeah who 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 do you usually go with my sister yeah i go with my sister right come with us next time porque no nos acompaña la, la próxima vez right so come with us next time all right so we are going to practice these two short conversations. You see, me podían decir, teacher, pero no tenemos aquí las palabras. That is the idea. Que al ver la, la answer, se recuerden cuál es la correct question. Y si no recuerdan, pues igual, I'm going to share. Les voy a compartir esta imagen para que puedan practicar. So one person is letter A, the other person is letter B. Yes? Ambos van a tener que recordar, of course. Usually, the person who asks the questions es la que más tiene que recordar las palabras, pero después se van a intercambiar los roles. Yes? Is that clear? Yeah. All right. So, vamos a hacer pairs. Let me see. Mm, definitely, nos tendrían que quedar. Vamos a hacer dos grupos nada más. Así los que no se sientan tan seguros, permitan a los otros al inicio y luego ustedes se atreven, ¿ok? So we're going to recreate these rooms and we're going to recreate in two rooms. All right. No worries. Eh, comencemos. Ok. Eh, hey. O oh. oh, usted. You. Um, no, empiezo. Ok. I watch sport on television every weekend. Eh, really. Really was sport, eh, soccer y en basketball. No, vamos a leer lo que está aquí. Ah, perdón, ah, perdón. Ah, perdón, me perdí, vamos a cambiar. No. Uh, really, really, what sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Uh, aquí sí, no sé, vamos a ver. No, no tengo lo otro, no tengo la otra. Para ver cuál es la que vamos a utilizar aquí. When, sería when. When, where. when do you... Uh, where do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And, and where, uh, where, otra vez, but where do you, where do you usually watch X at home? Yeah, where, in this case. Where. 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 Uh -huh. De dónde? And, and where do and where do you usually usually watch X at home? At home, no, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Eh, aquí sería, eh, how of, how how often? How often? Uh -huh. How often? Sí. How often do you? Bike ring. Oh, about on amount. 
a month. Oh, a month. I love to go by radio. Radio, I go every Sunday. Really? Um, I sería how, verdad? Who do you go? Sí, how. How do you go? When do you go? Cycles. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's because I have I, I have motorcycle too. I I always I always have to put gas too. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, the motorcycle is more um, cheap. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cheaper, right? Because in my in my case, I have a big bike. Oh, this mm -hmm. is the problem. <laughs> Harley Davidson. Maybe a Harley Davidson. <laughs> uh, it could be. My dad, my dad has a Harley Davidson. Oh. oh. <laughs> Not me, because I poor, I homeless. <laughs> homeless. <laughs> what kind? What kind of motorcycle have you? Oh, I have a una Yamaha B Star, what thousand uh, three hundred. Okay. I let her be. Start. Okay. Me pasar? I let her oh, okay. be. Okay. I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? Uh, what sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. And uh, when do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Okay. Uh, no, sería, when when do you no sería, how how often do you bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Um. Se me olvidó. How? When? <laughs> when do you go? When do you go? Creo que... <laughs> Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. How? When? Who do you usually go <laughs> go with? Uh, my sister. Come with you next time. Okay. Okay. Tratemos de como como personal. Puede andar corriendo mucho. Why? Porque andar moto rápido es bien complicado. Yo corría en el jabalí, pero porque ahí sí se puede correr. Ah, really? Yeah. Okay, for the vocabulary, the acera is sidewalk. 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 Okay. Sidewalk. I, sidewalk. I didn't know. See the walk. Uh, sidewalk. In Spanish is see the walk. Uh, and with who you drive motorcycle with? And me? Yes. Oh, Hello. usually, you, sorry. <laughs> uh, usually I run a motorcycle with my, my friend or my cousin because I love to ride a motorcycle in the, all the country. In the other country. Yeah. You are a lover. It's a warrior. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if you don't receive the rain, uh, 
Oh, mientras well, mientras well, manejas, no well, no manejado. Well, yeah, some uh, two years ago, uh, sometime I rode to Honduras, and Honduras was was raining, all raining to to fall to fall us. It's no. very it's very complicated. It's very complicated to ride to ride a motorcycle when the weather is raining. In the winter, uh, driving motorcycle too. Mm, not always. Depends. Dep All right, finished. All right, did you finish the activity? Yes. yes. Great, good. All right, let me just share the screen in order to, I think it was this one actually. Yes, in order to have the answers. All right, one minute please. Let me just move this right here. So the first one says, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really, what sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. Uh -huh. The next question we say it was? When? 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 Okay. When? <laughs> Do you usually watch soccer on Sunday afternoons, right? Well, that is very common as well in our country. People usually watch soccer on Sunday, right? Sunday afternoons or whenever there is a, an important match, right? For the Champion League, for the World Cup, or the finals, right? So people like to watch those soccer matches, right? Okay, on Sunday afternoons, and? Where? Where, right. So this would be where? Okay. Where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television, right? Okay, then we have the conversation number two. So, so often, yes, how often, that's right. One important tip is pay attention to the answer, okay? When you read the answer, then you have an idea what the possible question is because, oh, about once a month. Oh, this is talking about the frequency. So it says, how often do you go by writing? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Mm -hmm. When? When could be, when do you go? Usually at about one o'clock or what time do you go? This is two possibilities, right? So when do you go or what time do you go? So you can use either or, okay? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Who? Okay, who? Tell me who. Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. Come with us next time is like, I invite you, come with us, okay? So we can go by writing, we can have fun. We usually go every Sunday, so it's great. All right. Is there any question? Hay todavía alguna duda sobre este exercise? About this exercise, how to structure the questions, the WH questions? No? Simple? No. Simple, simple. All right. Good. Well, give me one second. I just need to get to the mouse right here. 
and I'm gonna erase my whiteboard. All right, here the challenge is a little bit bigger because now you not only have to write one word, but you have to read the answer and you have to structure the question, yes? Here you only have the answers and you need to complete the question. The first example is done. It says, I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. So what is the question? What sports do you like? Here you have the answer. I usually play with my sister and some friends. Uh -huh. What is the question? Who do mm -hmm. play? Who do play sports? With Ajá. Todo esto tiene continuidad de lo de la primera oración, de la primera respuesta. I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Oh. Uh -huh. Who do you play volleyball with? Exactly. Who do you play volleyball with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. Uh -huh. We practice. practice? Okay, when do you practice? We practice on Saturdays. What time do you go? What time do you go? What time do you start, right? What time do you start? We start at about noon, at 12, right? At noon. We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where do you, Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? All right. So I'm going to give you five minutes in the same groups for you to write down the questions and the responses. Again, the questions and the answers, okay? The same, the same exercise we just completed. El mismo ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, solo que lo van a reescribir en algún lugar. I don't know if you have notebooks or if, if you use a Word document, whatever, okay? Let's see. You can chill? No. And about ten? Uh, what? You can show the picture in the screen? Uh, one minute. No, I don't. Okay, right. you just will watch on the chat. The number uh, one, what sport do you like? I like a lot of sport, but I really love volleyball. Mm -hmm. oh. Who do play? Who do play volleyball with? Do you want to share the I picture? I am. I am in the cell phone. Okay. Uh, let's. Okay. Let's go to to share. Tell okay. me some moment. Uh, okay. Okay. I can see. Yes. 
What sport do you like? I like a lot of sport, but I really love volleyball. Who do you play volleyball with? Who do you play volleyball with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. ¿En cuál decías, perdón? Eh, perdón, en la, la primera donde dice I like ¿En cuál deporte te gusta? ¿En cuál deporte le gusta? Ajá, sería la primera la, la A, primera Ahí vamos a comprar el Gwen, ¿verdad? No, esa sería la respuesta de la primera Ah, perdón Ajá. La, la segunda A es la que la que la que um... es la, pre, la pregunta digamos le pregunta otra cosa Ay, que, que sería es una conversación. Ajá. Una conversación Who sería sí. who, who do you play with Ok, y la tercera sería practicas los sábados, dice la verdad. Practicas los sábados. En ese caso sería when, when do you practice? Ok. Entonces. Ajá, porque le dije practicar los sábados. Eh, o no le o, o dónde practicas. No. No. No, no sería cuánto. Cuando ¿Cuándo practicas. Cuando practicas. Uh -huh. practicas. Eh, where sería. Where. Bueno, pero ya, Quiero ver. Ahí habla de. Donde practico. El sábado. Dice una. I have a question. Yes, tell me. I play. Eh, En ese caso, en esa pregunta, cuando le pregunta, que cuando practican está válido este cuando yo play, porque como veo que responde we de nosotros. Sí, el you, el you puede ser usted nada más o puede ser ustedes. Ustedes. Ajá. Ajá, solo tenía esa pequeña duda. Sí, no, no, no se preocupe. It, it's okay. Actually, it's fine. Siempre surge eso de que you. Pero recordemos que hay un you singular y un you plural. So, you, cuando yo solo le digo a ah, usted, usted o tú, ¿verdad? Y puede ser también ustedes, uh -huh. porque él responde, we practice on Saturday. Obviamente porque ya había respondido que él practica con su hermana. Entonces ya son ellos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. No, en ese caso es o sea, you, porque es you. ustedes, uh -huh. tú y tu hermana, pues. Entonces le está diciendo, when do you practice? Where do you practice? What time do you practice? Ya cuando él ya ha mencionado a la hermana, ya eso, ya él responde, we, dice nosotros. Yes? Yes. Um, All right. Yes. yes Perfect. Yes, no problem. Sería, uh, uh, you do play? When do you practice volleyball? We practice on Saturday. The sport is. Uh, what time do you play? Or when do you play? We start at about noon. Five. Where do you play? We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. In the, the last is, um, is when or how what often? Time? No, the, the last. Oh. Oh. The last? Yeah. Where do you play? And the, we practice ah, okay, on Saturday. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, I not see. Say in our yard. 
What mean chart? Patio. No. El patio. Like ah, yard. thank you. Chart. We usually play in, in nuestro patio. Well, Sometimes we play in the beach. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, we have some time to. Okay, Oscar, let's get to. Uh, <laughs> let's get to remember another histories. Hey, what do you want to know? <laughs> Kenny, what do you drink now? Hey, water, water. Oh, I, I want coffee. <laughs> no, it's water. Oscar, I think about uh, Oscar Aguirre uh, drink too about water. About water. I don't like it. No, <laughs> I don't like it. The last time the last time that I drunk some beer or some drink, uh, let's see, 15 years ago. Well, yeah, because I'm my long personal, time ago. Yeah, because my personal opinion, I don't like the the drink. I don't like the smoke. Oh, no, that's okay. No, no. no. I don't like it. Uh, no sería who, who do you play with? Who do you play with? Ajá, with. Uh, with. <coughs> with. Perdón. With. <coughs> sería doble. <coughs> w it a t a h. Do you wish a? Mm. No. Do you how do you play with? Oh. Oh, Perdón. Who, I can help you, Carlita. Thank you. Who, do you? Siempre recuerda que las preguntas van con auxiliar. Entonces, who do you play with? Ese es como el orden para estructurar las preguntas. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero preguntar, ¿dónde juegas? Entonces digo, where do you play? Si le quiero preguntar, ¿cuándo juegas? Digo, when do you play? ¿Sí? Entonces, es como la estructura básica de las preguntas. Por eso en este caso es Who do you play? En este caso, porque yo ya había mencionado voleibol, puedo decir Who do you play volleyball with? Ajá, es como ¿Con quién juegas voleibol? Uh -huh. I usually play with my sister and some friends. Ya, usualmente juego con mi hermana y algunos amigos. Yeah, eh, vale. Entonces sí. la siguiente respuesta dice We practice on Saturdays ¿Qué tuvo que haber preguntado Para que él le diga si sí, nosotros practicamos Los sábados? Ajá, es que sería What time eh, What no, time or when one time, one time. What time es cuando le dan la hora específica Pero ahí le está diciendo Que juegan o que practican los sábados Who play No, recuerden las preguntas What, when, where Who, how often, why. Esas son las preguntas básicas en inglés. ¿Qué, cuándo, cómo, con quién, con qué frecuencia, qué horas? Pero ahí dice on Saturdays. On Saturday. Eh, ajá, que practicar los sábados. Ajá, entonces, ¿cuál debió haber sido la pregunta? Eh, what? Mm, pero si le no, dice no, what, no. le está preguntando qué, 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 qué no qué, le está preguntando no, no. cuándo. Ajá, sería eh, when. Exacto. ¿Y cuál es la estructura de la pregunta? When. When do you play? Ajá, pero aquí tenemos el verbo practice, no el verbo play. play. Entonces Ajá. sería when. When. Eh, you. No, recuerdes el auxiliar. When. When. Do. Do. You. You. Ajá, y el verbo practice. Eh, practice. Va ahora de un solo. Sí, when do you do practice? Ya no necesito do otra vez, solo una vez. When, when do, do you, you practice? Exacto, when do you practice? When do you practice? Yeah. Yeah. Sí. 
We practice on Saturdays. Ahora sí. El siguiente dice at about noon. Esa sí es una hora específica. Noon es el mediodía. Entonces dice we start at about noon. Nosotros empezamos al mediodía. Empezamos a practicar al mediodía. Entonces ahí sí que le debió haber preguntado. Ahí dice la hora específica. What time? You. No, recuerde el auxiliar. Ah, perdón. What time? Do you practice? No, y no tengo practice. Ahí tengo el verbo estar, empezar. What? What time? What time? Do? You? You? Mediodía sería. No, el verbo. El verbo es empezar. What time do you? Start. Exacto. ¿A qué hora empiezan? What time do you start? Why do you do? Start. No, what time? What time? Do you, do you start? start, start. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿A qué horas empiezan? What time do you start? We start at about noon. Yes? Yes. Y ahora dice, in our yard. Usualmente jugamos en nuestro patio, but sometimes we play at the beach, pero a veces vamos a la playa. A jugar, obviamente, vean, voleibol. <laughs> yes. Entonces, yes. ¿qué tuvo que haber preguntado? Eh, sería... Eh... Where you play? Where? No. Where? El okay. orden, el orden para estructurar las preguntas es crucial. Es como una fórmula de matemática. Yeah. Uh, where? where? Ajá, where? porque del lugar, ¿verdad? Where? Do you? Do you? Play? Where do you play? Hasta ahí ya play. se sobreentiende. Where do you play? O sea, where do you play volleyball en este caso? ¿verdad? We usually yeah. play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Sí, generalmente lo hacemos ahí, o sea, generalmente jugamos en el patio, pero a veces vamos uh, a la playa a jugar. Uh, ok. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Keep practicing. Recuerde, esa estructura para hacer preguntas es... Eh, la, eh, la auxiliar Va, eh, primero es la, la, la WH word what, oh. when, where, how often, what time cualquiera de esas, de lo, dependiendo de lo que quieras saber, si quieres saber del lugar va a decir where, si quieres where. saber cuándo va a decir when. when si quieres saber con qué frecuencia, how often si quieres saber con quién, va a decir who luego va el auxiliary luego va el sujeto, que en este caso es you porque está haciéndose una pregunta directamente a alguien, y luego va el verbo eso es todo eso es como yeah. en las fórmulas de matemática que le decía yo. Eso es Ajá. así y no se puede cambiar. Formularla. Exacto. Hacer una estructura así, Sorry. ya establecida. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfecto. No problem. Thank you. Hello. Oh my God, long conversations. <laughs> long conversations, how to change the world. <laughs> Make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. It's Let very me... interesting or, or meeting. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Okay, the first question is already done. What sport do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. I usually play with my sister and some friends. Tell me the question. How do you do play Who? volleyball? Who do, do you, you play? Play? Volleyball. Volleyball? With. With. Who do you play with? Who do you play volleyball with? Espérame, que aquí me falta la... Ah, no, ahí está el question mark, ya. Yeah. No sweat. Who do you play volleyball with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. We practice on Saturdays. How often do you play? How often could be, or... When? 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 When, when do you, you practice? When do you practice? Okay, when do you practice? Okay, we practice on Saturday. All right, we start at about noon. Mm -hmm. What time do you? What start? time? 
do you start? start? What time do you start? Uh, we start at about noon. And we usually play it in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where do you play? Thank you. Where do you, you can, you can add a spicy, you know, you can spice it up and say, where do you usually play? It usually is optional, like obviously. Where do you play? It's fine. But if you want to make it, you know, tastier, then you can say, where do you usually? Where do you usually play? We usually play at our yard or in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Good. Tendrán homework. Uf. Esto hace feliz a los teachers. ¿no? <laughs> Be, why not? <laughs> yes, you will have homework. This is going to be the homework. It's going to be simple. Espérenme, que el eraser aquí. My eraser, my virtual eraser. Van a investigar. Obviously. Ahora investigar es... Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy, no me digan que no. Solo escriben el nombre de alguien y dicen, information about Anna Kornikova, for example. I'm just saying, ¿ok? Y ustedes leen y leen y leen la información de esa persona. Luego, cierran esa ventana, close the window, minimize, whatever, y agarran un papel y un lápiz y dicen, ok, she is a famous athlete from Russia. She plays tennis. She is married. She lives there. She bla, 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 bla. Todas las oraciones que de ustedes logren escribir después de haber leído esa information. Porque copy-paste lo voy a detectar súper rápido. Así que, please, don't do that. Y no me lo van a mandar escrito ni nada, sin que lo van a decir. Y va a ser bien obvio si se lo están leyendo. ¿Ok? So, <laughs> You're going to describe a famous athlete. Un famous athlete de cualquier deporte. No estoy diciendo que solo los soccer players son famous athletes. It can be runner, uh, gymnastic, tennis player, volleyball player, basketball, any. Swimmers, Michael Phelps, whatever. Whoever. Yeah. Yes, Danger. Whoever. Una persona. No un team completo. Imagínense, me ponen a hablar de todos los famous soccer players del Madrid. That's gonna be hell. You're not gonna finish in, at night. Okay? Any question? Por ahí escuchar. No questions. Bye. Para okay. mañana, at the beginning. Al inicio de la clase. For tomorrow. Thumbs up. I will be sick tomorrow. Ay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. That's impossible. <laughs> La, la internet va a It's a prediction. Ay, y nos dejó solo la teacher, miren. I am here. Nos sentimos lonely. No. no. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.